Alright, welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign. Boy oh boy, I love that game. It is so much fun. I really enjoy kind of the hard battles and uh, the mech flavor. Battletech is definitely one of my favorite games. And today we're going to continue with the Biological Sample, which is our next mission. We're still trying to kind of get that salvage. Uh, we got a fantastic mech in the last mission and 16 parts could just be yet another mech. We're going to deploy the same team as beforehand. Lily is still out, so Reaper is going to sit in the Firestalker. Got the Raven, uh, got the Blackjack Vindicator. So yeah, the Hunchback that we uh, received in the last mission, that one is currently in progress to be built up to uh, substantial brawler with a lot more firepower than we currently have so let's uh, jump into the mission and hopefully we'll get another sort of upper medium mech something around the 55 ton mark would be fantastic good time to land and deploy on the mission Hawkbite leads the group fantastic we got a help well, another group to evacuate point. that's okay so secure the facility and then also secure the secondary facility target zone target zone okay fair enough can we maybe go on the high ground here i suppose that's not the worst idea heading out confirmed on the move. Good. So far we have not met any enemies. That's good. Acknowledged. Roger that. Piece of cake. And we're moving up to this plane area up here. Locking in coordinates. On the move. Still saying under the cover of the ECM. And for the first time, we're running into enemies. Yeah. Location confirmed. Even more important that we're keeping in the ECM zone. So we got a heavy mech, apparently. Ooh, maybe we can salvage that one. Standing by. That's a medium mech. Waiting for the shot. That is a heavy mech. Difficult. Let's. There's th that's potentially a light mech, and that's a medium and a heavy mech. Let's stick with a medium and heavy for now. What do we have? Quick draw and the Phoenix Hawk. The Phoenix Hawk. Hmm. The Phoenix Hawk is is a mech that relies on jumping and being evasive. So. I'm wondering, it typically has not the most amount of um, armor, but that one here is pretty well covered. The quick draw, on the other hand, is one of the lightest heavy mechs and is often kind of a, the source of, a, of memes because it's supposed to be like not a very good mech. But I, I don't necessarily agree with that. You, you, can, you can make every single mech work. Uh, and that, Waiting of course, order. holds true for the yes, commander. for the quick draw just as much as for any other mech. How about we're... How about we're moving to, like, here? That's okay. Fire starter... Sees that there is another javelin, and we're continuing to harass the quick draw. Commander. Moving to here. No problem. Engage. May need to continue to harass uh, the quick draw, and the vindicator finally, kind of, is the last one to act. 
Let's move it up here. Location confirmed. And give the quick draw a hard time. Confirmed. Fantastic. Structure is exposed. We got a solid first turn. The javelin poses a bit of an Magic. issue. Awaiting orders. But we can deal with that. Moving back. And we don't even need uh, the precision strike. We can just go on and start hitting the javelin. Hitting it really well. And with a good positioning, its effort to move in can be negated. Like we could move to here. Move order received. Very good. And yeah, we again we don't need precision strike for that. Let's continue to harass the quick draw. Engaging target. So the only one that can be seen for now is the fire starter. And apparently there is a fourth mech with sensor lock. Good to go. Good. Hogbite moves up. Let's try our best to... Uh, that's only a 9% chance to hit him right in the front. I think we are just going to take a normal shot. Alright, the arm is heavily injured. The quick draw itself has critical damage. All right, Phoenix Hawk fires back. That's a, that's fine. Ready to get it on. The Vindicator, on the other hand, just no goes on here. Board. Let's put Vigilance up because he might end up Fire. being shot at. And we've got it almost on the the quick draw is in a horrible, horrible situation. Raven takes some damage, but not a lot. Good. I would say the javelin can just move in and do its thing. Holding for tactical advantage. Well, that's fine. Phoenix Hawk might be a bit problematic but to be honest the only one who could really take some damage here is the blackjack might as well move it up to the back so that the fire starter is a better target and the javelin potentially will go down of course not if we're not hitting a single shot that was Poor aiming. The Phoenix Hawk is really good in jumping behind someone. Melee Phoenix Hawk, Light damage. not so Holding much. Orders. Moving out. All right, Vindicator. This might be Confirm. level damage. Very nice. Yeah, the quick That's draw really, really didn't do much. Aye, aye. Pastata moves back and let's kill the javelin. I've got. Scored a critical hit. Fantastic. Water. When they are already down, well, let's just kick them whilst they're lying on the ground. The 
but the Vindicator takes a few long-range missiles, nothing to be afraid of. Raven moves up, and let's finish the Javelin. There we go. Everybody is reconcealed. Time to do some play with the initiative. The guy can... Uh, we can reduce the initiative of the Phoenix Hawk. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Which means we have free reign on approaching him. Copy that. Indicator moves up. And let's continue to deal as much damage as we can, really. The Phoenix Hawk is sturdier than the ones that I've uh, seen before it, but then again, I don't know what the 1K version is. That might be the armored version for less damage. So far, not really a Fantastic mech. Alright, the blackjack. Shall we take vigilance? Why not? He he has taken quite a bit of damage and I just want to make sure that we're even further reducing the damage. We're not going to kill uh, the Phoenix Hawk. That was minus 40% damage and he still accurately hit the uh, left arm and destroyed it. F you, buddy. F you. We lost the medium laser here. Okay. Good. Well. Commander. So you want to play rough? Cool. Let's play rough. I bet you're gonna like this. Oh, thanks hit on that one. Phoenix Hawk takes some significant damage. Moving to position. Fire starter moves into position and we're continuing to fully unload into the back of the Phoenix Hawk. Reporting critical hit. Blackjack moves up. And I'm even overheating for that. Good. <clears throat> Sucks that we have lost uh, the left arm. That'll put us a bit into the repair zone. We'll go. Be there in a chip. Okay, well, the next lance just appears. A locust tries to scout us out. Aye, aye. I think the natural reaction for that would be to move back. And let it look stupid. Yeah, we're active probing. That's a nice sensor lock on the locust. Roger that. Got a lock on me. They are reverse sensor locking. But it seems all of them are light mechs, so we really can face them head on. Standing by. Reaper moves up. On my way. All the way to here. And let's teach that locust a lesson. Fantastic. Support weapons are fantastic against high blip enemies. Backjack moves up. 
Yeah, let's just get that ja uh, javelin over here. Saving some ammunition. And we're reducing the evasion blips a tiny bit. Ready for orders. On my Good, Vindicator moves up. Firing on target. That's some solid damage right there. Javelin almost down. Awaiting orders. Mox nicely maneuvers out of uh, the zone and will completely negate the Javelin's maneuver here. So potentially they will continue to double move. Maybe. I've been sensor locked. Yeah, there we go. Yes, Commander. Good, moving into the back of this javelin. And let's see if we can Copy that. one hit KO it. <laughs> okay, well that worked a hit. really well. Good. Time to hit hit the back even further. And that's another one down. Fantastic. Yes, Commander. Position confirmed. Good. Engaging. Although we've just lost our uh, concealment. We're actually doing quite well. Aye, aye. Fire starter here continues to move into the back. And we're trying that whole shtick yet again. Let's see how you like this. <laughs> Almost down. Take that. They've got a sensor lock on. All right, the sensor lock really doesn't mean anything. On my way. Raven now moves into DPS mode. Also takes from behind, and there we go. That's one more javelin down. See, once you once you uh, find a good way of engaging the light mix, they really don't stand a chance. Firing all weapons. Specifically, if you have built your mechs around like being brawlers, the continuous damage Standing that they are uh, dishing out Moving just out. exceeds what uh, what the enemy mechs can handle. Target confirmed. And I'm specifically happy about the. Firestalker here, who's done a phenomenal job this round of just dealing with them. Great, the guy goes down, loses another initiative, which means he's effectively done. In all of the excitement, I just dropped my microphone. Fantastic. Good, Vindicator moves up. Let's just take a shot to the center. And that's a done deal. Tango down. So short of losing an arm. Short of losing an arm, we've actually done a decent job of uh, fighting against I'm both of these lances. Moving to position. Roger. Consider it done. 
good. I hope we're not going to run into another lance. I think we're okay for now, right? Okay, fantastic. Ooh, yeah, well, we lost an arm. That is unfortunate. We're probably going to spend, I would say, six to eight days repairing that. But luckily, no one got injured. And, and we also lost the medium laser. Good. So what can we get? We could get quick draw. One. Okay. Better than nothing. A Phoenix Hawk. Again, better than nothing. Let's take at least one medium laser because we lost one. SRM sixes are also good. But I think we got quite a few. Yeah, you have six. How many do we have? Yeah, we, we're lacking medium lasers, so... I'll just get those for now. I'm not bothering with the smaller mechs. Since we're not playing for kind of a achievement score, which um, one of the achievements in the career mode is you got to uh, collect all of the mechs. Since we're not trying to maximize that, but are just essentially playing a pirate themed campaign and are trying to survive. Um, it does make a lot of sense to, to select the max. Also, if you're playing kind of a campaign to maximize the actual points at the end, that's pretty grindy, less fun than what we're doing here. Okay, so we definitely got to work on the blackjack here. And let's give this guy another medium laser. Fantastic. If we give him two small lasers, just to increase the damage a bit. Like, how would that look like? Firepower would all of a sudden go above 200. Heat is no longer working out. Nah, it's potentially just not working out. Also, I don't want to waste too, uh, too many days. It's bad enough to already engage six days in the repair here. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Manage the tasks. Let's start with the repair. I think think yeah we don't need to repair those guys yet we can already start repairing the Vulcan to to then store it uh, later so I'll just put it on the list I hope that we can store it afterwards but yeah we definitely need the blackjack so let's wait the six days until the blackjack is done Got the financial reports. Good. We're continuing with an extravagant lifestyle because I want people to to uh, to raise the morale. That will help us in battle. Morale increases by another two, so we're at thirty-four. Which means we're gaining 25 points of resolve per round of battle. So that's not bad. I think that's almost like one shot per round a bit more than that. If I'm not mistaken, 20 is uh, how much you need to pay for one shot. So uh, let's take a look at our mech warriors. Commander. I think we're going to save some... Uh, some points to actually upgrade them. Training complete. Commander. Hey up. Awaiting. Commander. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, we gotta uh, save until we finally can purchase a couple of these abilities. Multi shot is super helpful for the bruisers. Bulwark is uh, very helpful. Later ace piloting is is good, and if we ever. Uh, run 
kind of a scout as a permanent um, as a permanent uh, part of our uh, loadout then sensor lock isn't bad either at the beginning i found sensor lock incredibly useful and then i realized just from an action economy it's actually not the best skill uh, that you uh, that you could use so ship upgrades are also needed damn our funds are already dwindling again so we wanted to increase the drive system yes so that requires high power conduits and high power conduits yet again requires 700,000 well fantastic let's purchase Sorry, these I'll get the crew moving. and we are of course short on cash let's see if we can sell something is there anything that we really don't need we do not have th that much stuff yet we just do not have that much stuff We could sell a bit, but I would honestly prefer just to stay with what we do have. We just got to make some more money. Um, and one way of doing that is potentially go for like 550,000 here. An eye for an eye is a good start. That here is even better. Like that's another million. If we were to negotiate that, that's a hundred thousand plus twenty salvage. Holy shit! Uh, I could be really good. That could be really good. No, we're not going to work yet another job against the um, the pirates. So maybe this year is kind of maybe we're really going for sort of a middle solution 315 isn't bad either but 520 is certainly absolutely fantastic but keep in mind it's also a two and a half uh, school mission so that's rather the last one that i would do because we're potentially going to suffer some mech injuries Next one will be an eye for an eye, and that's an assassination mission, which can take a bit longer. So we got to be careful there. The only problem here could be also a mission that we could do. 500 grand. And so far we've worked uh, surprisingly well with the Free Worlds League. Let's just take a look whom we're actually working well with. The Free Worlds League um, seems good. The uh, local pirates, we work from not being liked to indifferent. So although it shows indifferent, we have actually made progress here. So yeah, I would say these are the ones that we sort of work with a bit, Majesty and everybody else more or less does not like us a lot anyways guys that's the end of today's uh, mission i will think about what we're doing next we definitely need more money um i have the habit of upgrading and being greedy but yeah that needs to be backed up with some solid gameplay so uh, let's um, let's kill it and do two missions potentially um, an eye for an eye and thorny problem next See you in the next uh, run. If you like uh, Battletech, leave a comment down below. Today's question will be what mission type is the one that you like most and why. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.